Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. How are you? I am doing really well. I'm here today, I'm going to show you the markers I got from the TikTok shop. So yes, I should be doing this on TikTok, but I thought this is where the people are who do the colouring, right? I might do this video on it on TikTok, but for now I'm doing one here. So if you're new to the channel, I do videos on various hobbies, mostly colouring. Uh, I also do book reviews and book hauls. I do some photography videos and a bit of diamond painting here and there to show off my Marilyn collection, which of course is my main, one of my main hobbies, is collecting Marilyn Monroe books and memorabilia. However, the majority of the videos are about colouring. So let's have a look. What have we got? What are we doing? Right, so I bought this set of markers from TikTok shop. The touch markers, and there's 80. I think they're supposed to be 80. I haven't counted them to see if they are. They're a bit loose in the bag. Um, but they look like this. They're just your basic marker. Um, they say touch Mika on it. Art marker made in the PRC, so People's Republic of China. It comes right from China. They cost me eight pound. I think eight pound forty nine. That includes shipping. So it's less than ten pounds for eighty markers. They took about a week to get here, so not long from China at all. Now, the one thing about TikTok Shop is they do keep you updated. They tell you your orders in. They tell you when it's been dispatched. But not only that, they tell you when it's um, at the destination, the, the leaving airport, the departure airport, and it's cleared customs there. It tells you when it's arrived in the UK at the destination airport. It's cleared customs there. And then they tell you it's almost arrived, which means it's going to be delivered within the next 24 hours. And then they tell you it's been delivered. So really good TikTok shop. I've bought a few things from there. This is one of them. The other is something for the house and um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so these, these are touch markers. So they don't have a bit brilliant, they don't have a big smell about them like most of this style of markers. So I'm just going to show you, you've got your, your wide tip. I can never remember what's called broad tip and you've got your fine tip or your bullet nib, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not focusing but it's there you can see it it gives you a color name and number so this one is 147 pale lilac don't know what it looks like haven't swatched them yet we're going to swatch them in a minute i have used them a little bit but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go away take out all the blues we'll swatch the blues and so on all right okay so i've got all the blue all the ones that have got blue in the name apart from blue greys which will be done under the greys I'm not going to put them into number order, I suppose I could. 67, as you can see, it would be taking me forever to do it like this. And it doesn't really make much difference because it doesn't really relate to the colour. I will just have a quick look. 63, 144, oops and 62 right okay so let's have a look <clears throat> here we go so the first one is 62 and they're calling this marine blue i will put the number down there marine blue so i tend to use the bullet nib or the fine nib more than the broad nib i do use broad nib but mostly i use the so let's have a look. So that's a very dark blue. Very long, my good. Very nice. As you see, it goes on lovely. Nothing wrong with this colour at all. I like this colour actually. So, I mean, it's a bit of a squeak, but that's because I'm doing it fast. I do it slow, it doesn't. Now, with one. Um, person who bought them on TikTok got called out for buying them for her kids because they I think they are alcohol markers because they go through so as you can see it has gone gone through um, but Jennifer's five she uses alcohol markers without any issues at all okay next we have cerulean blue my terrible spelling Let's have a look. I use the broad nib after nice yeah I like these 
So I have used them a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit um, in a picture, I, a buddy colour I did. Um, but yeah, I, I am quite liking these so far. The blues are nice. Next one is ice blue. I think ice blue should be almost white because ice is very light. It's kind of left-handed. Uh, I haven't put the number on it, 65. See? Let's have a look. Actually, it's a really nice colour, isn't it? I think I'll write the numbers in afterwards. And we'll just have a look at the colours, really. And I'll I could redo the swatch later. All right. I also used the broad and I didn't, did I? Right. Next we have pastel blue. We'll use the broad nib, the broad nib now. So as you can see, you can still get a nice fairly fine line off of it. I just prefer the other nearby too, but that's just me. This one's Prussian blue. Oh, that's a nice blue, isn't it? Look at that colour, isn't that gorgeous? I'm just going to basically swatch them like this because I'll probably redo the sheets later anyway. Uh, cobalt blue. This is going to be a nice colour. I just know it is. Oh, yeah. Look how gorgeous that colour is. Ow, just stabbed myself with it. And then we've got dark blue light. I have no idea what they mean by dark blue light. <laughs> it's like, what does that mean? I thought that was like a lilac colour. But it's nice. Sky blue. That's a nice colour using that. Now the reason I bought these is although I've got billions and billions of markers I don't allow Jennifer to use things like my Windsor & Newton markers. I don't allow her to use my Arteza Everblends because they are um, my expensive ones. Um, I do let her use the Ohuhu and any of these sort of cheaper brands and the one colour we run out of more than any other is blue. Jennifer loves blue. Now she likes all the colours and but once she once upon a time when she was really little she would only colour using blue. This one is turquoise blue. So yes, giving her getting markers that are expensive is ridiculous, but I don't mind paying what I paid for these for her to use up all the blues. That is fine. Next one is pale baby blue. This is usually a colour I use a lot. She, while she tends to go for the dark blue, like the cobalt, I tend to like the lighters, lighter colours. But we still run out of blue a lot. Red's the other colour because that's my favourite colour and I try to use it a lot. And the next one is phthalo blue. Oh, that's quite a nice one. See, have a look, you've got a nice, nice range of blues there. That way. That is a quite a nice range of blues, as you can see. I'm going to go and get the greens now. Okay, so I've taken out all the greens except for the grey greens, because again, we'll put those in with the greys. You do also get a colourless blender. Now, I tend not to use these for markers. I like to save these up and I use them for blending pencils. And I will show you that in a video another time. I think I've done it before on camera, but... Uh, I'm not going to sort these out at all. Whoops, something fell off. It wasn't one of our pens. We won't worry about it with something else. This is forest green. I'll just leave a gap between the blues. Very nice. Ah. Sort of a bluey green, really. Now, this one looks more yellow, but it's called pastel green. So let's have a look, see what it looks like. See, now to me, that's more of a yellow than a green. And you get these with these cheap markers. There is a hint of green in there, but to me that's yellow. So I'm going to put that to one side um, for when I redo it and I'll put it in with the yellows. Now I have something called yellow green. It's a lovely colour though. Now that's a nice green, yellow green. That is, that is beautiful. Isn't that a nice colour? No, you can't really see it, but look at that. Isn't that a nice colour? I'm just going to put them back with the blues for now. 
Next one is emerald green. Again, another colour that's lovely. And you will find sometimes that the colour names are completely different to the colour that's in them. I've found that a lot with these uh, touch markers and stuff like that. So, But don't worry about it. This is mint green light. You'll soon learn which ones are the ones that have got funny names and aren't the colour that you think they're going to be. That's quite a nice colour. It's kind of like a greeny blue more than anything else, but I like it. Next we've got peacock green. Very nice. We've got turquoise green. bronze green this is usually a color that's good I hope this is good oh yeah I love that that is a nice green we've got this one is a vivid green this next one I'm going to move the thing vivid green oh yeah that's a nice one so they're nice colors Grass green, just finding the right nib. Yeah, oh yeah. Lots of greens, deep olive green. Oh, that's a good one as well, look at that. So I would always say, do a proper swatch of these because you will need to refer to it to find the color you want, trust me. Next one is called Green Bice. I don't know if that's pronounced right. Ooh, that is a very pastel green. Do you see what I mean about them not? I mean, I don't know what Bice is, but that looks like a pastel to me. That's really nice. So I will re swatch them with the numbers and names when I've got time. But I've got plenty of these sheets and I can print some off if I want to. Okay. Then we've got turquoise green light. So, that's a nice colour. I wouldn't say it was turquoise green light. I think I used that one in the Beauty of Horror book actually that I did a buddy colour in. It'll be up on my Instagram later today. I haven't done it yet, I don't think. No, I haven't. Um, this one is called pale green and it's just a lovely green colour. And the next one is called Spectrum Green. Now I've got a Spectrum Green in others and it's quite a bright dark colour if that makes sense. This one looks really light. So again, there's hardly any colour in that at all. It's very, very pale. I don't know if you can barely see it, but it is very pale. But still, it's a nice, you know, put a couple of layers on and it'll be fine. Look, that's really nice. So those are the greens. Let's have a, get the other one and I'll have a quick look at it. I go and get the yellows so yeah I still think that that one that pastel is yellow and I might even put a label on it saying yellow instead right I'm going to get and get the yellows now and we'll have a look at those when I was pulling out I missed one green and that was olive green here so we'll do that one first and then we'll go on to doing the yellows yeah that's a good olive green I like that color that is a good color onto the yellows and again these are the ones I find don't look like they're supposed to they're usually very dull or very brown looking so this one is called pastel yellow and that's exactly the same colour almost as the pastel green not a lot of difference in it I don't think look. pastel green is a slightly lighter colour let me just put it under so you can see it there you go but uh, it's still a light yellow so that's uh, interesting. That's, that's interesting to see what they constitute as colours. I've also got oranges in here, but we'll do those after we've done the uh, the yellows. Um, I've got melon yellow, which I actually just pulled the top off the top. <laughs> the colour cap came off. Um, but they are cheap markers, so things like that will happen. To so just be, oh, this is not a very good one. Let me try the other side. Oh, yeah, that one's fine. Right, we'll use this side. 
actually that's quite a good orangey yellow so yes that's all right that one's fine apart from the fact that oh it's better now it's a uh, come across, come out funny oh dear me then we got yellow ochre so this is going to be a brownie yellow or should be a brownie yellow. there's the that's melon yeah that's so that's more of a brown than a yellow but it is an ochre color so and there is some yellow in it so i suppose the next one is dark yellow now i don't know you but i do have books that say light yellow medium yellow and dark yellow so these are good for that so that's to me that's more of an orange than a yellow What's it look like? Yeah, it looks orange, doesn't it? That's a yellowy orange, same as the other one is, just a darky yellowy orange. So this is what I mean about the colours not always matching. So the next one is called a lemon yellow. Now that is yellow, and that's a nice yellow as well. Ooh, I like that colour. Then we've got fresh this one says fresh green but it's got a yellow cap so this should have been in with the greens because it's got green in the name i bet you it's not green it's not green so i was right to pull it out with the yellows because if that's green i'm a millionaire because that is not green that is a yellow orange so this is why i say if you do buy these cheaper markers do swatch them they don't match what they say on the tin but they do what they're supposed to which is all that matters next one is called a marigold and that is a lovely marigold orange colour. So this is why it, they are inconsistent with their colour names. But the colours are stunning. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now we're on to the two that have orange in the title, which is light orange. Well, it's an orangey red. But it's a light orangey red. I had that on my eyes need testing, which probably they do. And this one is just called orange or orange and that is orange it's a nice darker orange that's great because for the jade summer books uh color by number books they have like light orange dark orange medium orange red orange yellow orange just like do we need so many oranges so those are the yellows and the oranges let's pull out the pinks and reds okay so pinks and red now i'm not going to separate them they're just going to be all mixed up there's all sorts of weird colors in here so for instance the first one's called salmon pink and sometimes you can get oh god blind you can't see it salmon pink can sometimes you be used as a skin tone and i would say in this case yes i could use that as a skin to a caucasian skin tone Skin white, so this is obviously a Caucasian skin tone, allegedly. I'm not sure why, but uh, let's have a look see what that one's. And again, yeah, I would use that as a white, very pale skin. So it's very pale. The salmon pink does have a slight orangey tint to it. Then we've got peach. Yeah which is to me, it's, that is not peach, it's a very basic pink. Peach should be a little bit more orangey. That's just my thoughts. This one's called pale pink. It's a nice color though. That's a nice pink. That is a very nice pink. Put all these pens back in a minute. <laughs> oh, lucky me. Seven, next one is Cosmos. I know this one's pink. I love this colour. I think it's very similar. Oh, it is as well. So now that is a very nice pink. Very vintage looking, I think. I like it. And there. Then we've got, what's this one? Pastel pink. What do we think that one's going to be like? Do we think it's going to be pastel -y? Ah, it's not bad actually. Not bad at all. I like that. That is nice. Vivid pink. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that pink. That is 
done in. I am trying to do the reds last. We've got light pink. Push that up again. Yep, very nice. We got rose beige. That is more of a brown. There's not a lot of pink or red in that to make it rose beige to me. It's a bit it's nice, it's very lovely light brown, which is always handy when somebody wants you to colour with light brown. Let's get another swatch sheet. Okay. And next let's have what's this one? This one is fruit pink. Sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking in the background. There we are. Fruit pink. You can use that one as a skin tone if you really need to. Then this one is pale cherry pink. Very pale. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's a nice colour. Again, you could use this as a Caucasian skin tone. There's just enough colour in it. Nice like it then i think the last of them oh no this is all reds now oh there's coral pink another color i love it's coral pink let's have a look at this one it's very light red very pinky red which is right that's what coral should be it looks redder on the camera screen than it is in real life then we got the million this is a stalwart of these uh, ones that's a lovely orangey red this is great because you get orange red in the Jade Summer Colour by Number books and I'm always thinking, what am I using for orange red? Now I've got one. Then we've got French Vermilion. Which is almost identical, but it's slightly darker. Again, another nice orange red there. Then we've got Vivid Red. Ooh. Now, red's my favourite colour. To have this many reds is great for me. Oh, yes. That's nice. And we've done vermilion. We've done French vermilion. What's this one? Rose red. Always a good colour. Oh, yeah. I'm in heaven with these reds because you never get many reds. So to get this many reds, I am very happy. I've done with Millie. Right, Scarlet. Oh yeah, that's so nice. I am really happy with the amount of reds in this. I am very happy with this. I'm going to put these away in a minute and get the rest of them out. Uh, and the last red is literally called Carmen or Carmine. Carmen Red. Carmine Red, my favourite. Oh, look at that gorgeous redness. So you see why I'm liking these pens for less than a tenner? You can't go wrong. I'm going to pull out the rest of the colours now and we'll go through them and see what's left. Okay, guys, got the rest of the pens out now. Put the other ones away. I did miss a red, which is wine red. So we're going to do that one first. <gasps> Another red. This is going to be a very dark red. And it does look like wine coloured. That is what red wine should look like. Near enough. Or dry blood maybe. I, because I'm morbid. But there you go. We're on to the purples next. So we've got some light purples, dark purples and some lilacs. So first one is pale lilac. That does look like an accident up there, doesn't it? See, now to me that's more of a pink but it has got a slight tinge of purple in it so yeah it's a, a pink lilac if that makes sense it's, it's a lovely color don't get me wrong it's gorgeous and what we've got here we've got pastel violet at least they are clearly all different colors none of them are identical The next one is pale purple. Okay, very pink. 
Now magenta is supposed to be a purple pink, so hmm, maybe. And then we've got a uh, vivid purple. Oh, that's nice. That is a nice colour. Look at it. See how nice these pens are. We've got ultramarine, which is sort of a bluey purple, isn't it? Ultramarine's more blue than anything else. Yeah, it's a very dark. It's a blue purple. So when it asks for a purple blue or a blue purple on your colour by numbers, that's the one I would go for. Ultramarine. And then we've got deep violet. Ooh. <gasps> that's nice. Isn't that gorgeous? That's all you've heard me say, is it? except for when there's an odd colour. We get odd colours. Right, let's do the browns next. So we've got a barely beige. Now again, this is one I usually like to use as a skin tone. Because I find that this is the nearest Caucasian skin tone I can find. And uh, you can see why. When that dries, that'll be a perfect skin colour. Alright, so we've got cream. These creams never look cream to me, but then I'm hoping one day. Yeah, it's a very dark cream, but it is cream. Again, you could use that with the Bailey Beige and um, contour with it on a skin tone. The next one is Sand. So this should be a yellowy brown. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. That is, looks like wet sand. It's sand that's just drying out nicely. There we go. Then we've got, oh, that's a grey, terracotta. That's a brown, a red, that ready brown. Ready brown. Yeah, ready brown. Nice. Again, that's a colour you get asked for in colouring books a lot, which is a red brown. Perfect. got brick brown I do like brick brown normally so I'm hoping this is another good one I use brick brown a lot in hair because it's got red and a yellowy tinge to it so it looks good for hair natural oak is the next one oh yeah Good brown, good brown. Look at the way it's, they are so nice. These pens, they feel nice to use. They look nice on the paper. Bronze is next. And obviously we'd normally expect bronze to be slightly shiny, but it's not. Again, this is just a deep brown bronze. And it actually looks really nice. So that's all the browns. I'm just gonna get another sheet of paper and then we'll go through the greys and of course the black okay here we go let's get on with it last lot now now this one actually says it's pale blue i'm not sure how i missed it i must have thought it was more of a lilac -y color um but i have no idea so let's do that one first because i'm like I said, i'm going to re-swatch them and sort them out again you can't keep them sorted because they sit in a bag so even if you did it mix up yeah it's more of a lilac than a blue that's actually a really nice lavender color actually look at it lilac colour. I always get confused between the two but it's one of those two. Very nice. Right we're on to the greys. So this is a brown grey apparently. It just looks like a light brown to me. What do you think? What's it look like to you? Yellowy brown? Right we're on to grey green. This is uh, grey green three. To me that looks more blue, but it's a lovely grey. Just want these markers out and put them back in properly in a minute. Uh, grey green five is here. That's a nice grey as well. These are nice. Yeah, it, it does look a bit more green now it's drying off, and that one definitely looks greener. Then we're on to the blues. There's only two of those, unfortunately. Blue grey. This is blue grey three, so this is the lightest one. Oh, see, I love these colours. You know, if you're doing a sky and you want it to look stormy, that's the colour you want. 
I would call that storm grey myself. Now we've got a uh, blue grey five. If you want a darker stormy sky, you might go for this one. Yeah, mix those two. You get some really nice storm clouds. Beautiful. And then we've got blue grey seven as well. So, oops, wrong end. There we go. Well, that's a very dark one. Ooh. See, I love that colour. That is so nice. Four more to go. We've got warm, we've got some warm greys. We've got warm grey three. That's quite a nice grey, isn't it? I never really thought about why you needed so many different greys but now I do more different I don't just do blue skies I'm thinking yeah I could use the the blue greys as, as sky because it looks quite stormy um, with say the light one being the sky and then you could use this one's clouds and so on you know or clouds uh, sky clouds and sea if it's a seascape this one is warm grey six Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice grey. Never thought I'd like the colour grey so much, but I actually do. Then we've got warm grey nine. Nice. Sometimes you don't want to use black, but you want it to be dark. There's your colour, warm grey. And finally, the black one. Let me just pull out all the paid pages and we'll have a quick look through them. Okay. Oops, that one's upside down. We'll pull out and we'll have a look at the colours. So here we are, here's our completed swatches for now. We are our blues and our greens, yellows, pinks. Pinks, red, purples onto browns. And then our greys and black. Just leave that on there for a second for you to have a look at. Oops, something fell off the shelf. So yeah, so these are the ATP set of um, touch markers from TikTok shop. Like I said, they were on for something like £6.49. I'm just gonna have a quick look to see what they're on at now. I won't be a moment. Oh, I was to, oops. Noisy. Why is it always so noisy? All right, there we go. Let's go into shop. Yeah, they're still cheap. Markers. Let me just have a quick look. 48 pieces. Nice. <laughs> One sat there. I'm just having a look. Let me just have a quick look. Which is this one? Okay, so that one's that one. Right, let me just pop it on. I'll uh, have a look. I'll just switch you off and have a quick look and find it. Yeah, so that. Uh, particular one is on sale at the moment for six ninety nine. so with two pound shipping it is well, actually it's gone up to three pound now but still I still just under a tenner for 80 markers so yeah I really like them they're really nice markers they don't sit the way they show you they do in the box but they're really good um I am not going to get rid of them I love them and uh, if you want to see me colour with these markers, let me know in the comments down below. And I can certainly find a picture and we can have a colour and use as many of them as we can. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!